It's on with Precision Fly Fishing. Today for the fly of the week we're going to tie a winter stonefly nymph. This one that is finished is a size 20. It's tied on a fulling mill 5065. The one I got in the vise is an 18. Uh, with the 18 you're going to use approximately a 2.4 millimeter bead. With that 20 that I just had there I used a 2 millimeter. I got 0.015 lead wire bracing the bead. And we're going to use Simple Fly 18 knot nano silk in black. I'm going to start the thread just behind the lead wraps. Once you have your thread started, I'm just going to build up a slight little taper right here from where the, the lead wraps stopped to the shank of the hook. Don't worry too much about covering all that the lead wire wraps. Take your thread to the bend where we're going to tie in black pheasant tail. Take a couple strands of the black pheasant tail. I got approximately four to five here. Try to line the tips the best you can. Don't worry too much about the length when you first tie it in. We're going to do two loose collecting wraps. And then from there, just pull the fibers until you get the length of the tail that you want. We're going to want the tail approximately about three quarters of the hook shank. And then from there, get secure in the rest of the pheasant tail fibers. And I'll take it up to just behind the lead wires, and then you just break it off. Next material we're going to tie in is ultra wire, extra small and black. I'm going to stick the wire just behind the bead to brace it and then wrap it to where the tail stops. Next we're going to tie in more pheasant tail for the body. Get a bigger clump than the tail itself. I'm going to trim off the tips which are super brittle. And then I basically want to tie this in where the pheasant tail, let me bring my thread back up here, just behind where the lead wire stopped. It'll help form that taper and then take it back there to the tail. Then all I'm going to do is basically wrap the pheasant tail fibers. I'm going to leave a small gap between the pheasant tail and the bead where we're going to build up our thorax and then trim off the excess. I'll take that small black wire and then you're going to counter wrap it to basically make the pheasant tail a little bit more durable. And then capture the wire and then helicopter it off. Alright, the trickier part is up here at the wing case because the wing case is also going to be the legs. What you want to do is you want to try to align clump of pheasant tail and then instead of pulling it off I like to cut it off so that way it stays relatively aligned and then trying to keep those tips aligned I'm going to measure out my legs and then I'm going to capture it right there Now for the thorax, I'm just using super fine dummy. You can also use rabbit or any other really dark black dubbing. I like the super fine because it's a small fly and you can get a really tight dubbing noodle with the super fine. And all we're really doing is just building up a slight bump here for where the wing case is going to be. Just a little more. 
and then now all you're going to do is you're going to split the the pheasant tail it's a little bit easier if you wet your fingers just basically push them to the side then you're going to take that clump and you're going to pull it forward and split the tail or the uh, the tips of the pheasant tail there to form your legs you're going to you're going to have a couple that just aren't going to want to play don't worry too much about it because you could use your thread then to capture them and then I'm going to tie down the fibers to form that wing case we got one right there that just didn't want to cooperate we're going to snip that right off though then from there all you're going to do is going to go in there and whip finish you want to finish the, the whip finish up top that way when we add the UV resin there also secure that knot so at this point right here, I want these legs to good basically be pushed down slightly. So again, I'm going to just uh, wet them and pull them down. And then with my botkin, it's going to get a small, smallest amount of the solar res UV thin and add it right up top there of the wing case. Just zap it with my light. There you have it. Finished little black stonefly. Perfect for this time of year. Thanks for watching.